Hi friends, now we're going to talk about how we can make purchase order display transaction as like a reporting uh, reporting transaction code also to select things. Okay, so first let me show you what I'm talking about. First, we go to ME23N. Okay, and this is the transaction for for display purchase order. So suppose you it will open up the history, the last one which you have opened. Okay, that's the behavior of SAP. Now here, if you want to see purchase orders, like a list, you just click here. So generally, this is always closed. Okay, if it's closed, you need to click on Document Overview on, click on this, and click on Purchase Orders. Okay, by default, it will give the purchase document number that was opened. You have to take it out. And suppose you have plants that is coming because you have some parameter ID set, and the vendor number is also coming. And you have company codes and all those things now if you want further details okay here you can click always on this button okay there will be this button in most of the standard transaction code so once this comes you can add new features like if you want to put the document type okay so you can select this document category now you can see you have document category you can bring the document type you can bring in the deletion indicator you name it you create click on the created on the person who created by everything last changed all these fields you can build bring bring in from the the header and this is just the header i'm talking about now if you want this to show up in line item if you want to see oh i want to only look for things which is not deleted you can double click on it and here it will give you all these details so you have a lot of things that you can do and other things description of selection parameters so you can see language key and you know lots of stuff so if i want to see uh, anything which was created on suppose any purchase order that was created in the created on can i put multiple things i can put ranges also if you notice so i can put ranges from first uh, to today uh, probably there's something created and probably I'll take this company code out because I just don't want to restrict it and I'll hit execute and there's no entry so which is which is understood because no one has created any purchase order but again you can take this and suppose I'll do the same again every time you come in you have to change this so if you don't want to change it what I will suggest is here. So there was this created by created by. So it was created on. Okay. So here you have the created on. And here, what I'll do if I am been working because every time you go here, this gets refreshed. So one thing that you can do is suppose you put it for here till today. And what I'm going to do is I will. Just create a radiant and I put this uh, this one okay test just put this one as test this is my radiant okay I cannot change this so I'll just put test oops make this test okay and I'll click save okay so now here if you see this is the radiant and we will execute and here you get all these POs that was created. If you notice, all these POs are created. Now, next time I go here, sorry, next time I go here, I click on purchase order. Again, all these screens are missing, but <clears throat> if I click on the variant, now you can see this is appearing and you don't have to search it. So, in this way, you can do some magic. So, this is the way you can turn this thing into selecting. The purchase order you all wish i think you can do a lot of other steps also uh, but you can see so many fields that you can filter on so it really is helpful so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and if you like it share and subscribe to it and have